Hi, YouTube. This is Born with a Veil, and this is for Gemini reading. Uh, this is a general for Gemini for February the 11th to February the 28th of 2020. Let's get on with your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe is very important to keep me on this channel, and also leave a comment. Okay, so let's get on with Gemini reading. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. So, Gemini, your thing is you have to stay focused. Hold the course. You have to stay focused in your life. Within it, if you're by yourself, um, whether you're on a spiritual path, whether you're in a relationship, you have to stay focused. Gemini, you're not focused at this time. There's something going on with you guys. Then you got surrendering to the journey. Release control. You have to release that controllingness that you have. Um, you have to release that two-facedness that you guys got. You, <laughs> you guys got to do something about that. Okay? And your temper. Okay? So you're surrendering whatever's not benefiting you anymore. You're surrendering it. Surrendering it. You're, release, you're releasing that control that you have. And you're on a journey. Excuse me, I pulled two cards. Wait. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Some of you need to bide your time. This is not the time to rush into anything right now. You have to think about what you want to do, how you want to do it, write it down. Not, now is not the time to be rushing off and doing crazy shit. Okay? You have to wait to bide your time. Some of you Geminis... Um, have healing to do. You have children and you need to heal. As your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Some of you have a grudge with your mother and you need to heal that. You need to fix that in order for you to move on. Chemistry. There's strong magnetic attraction here. So somebody that you're living with, you're with, you're very strongly, there's a strong connection there. A lot of chemistry with you guys. Ten of Swords. Some of you are benefiting in this relationship. Um, it's only going to be temporary, though, because some of you, I think, are tired. You've been going through enough bullshit. Um, you're ready to just walk out the door. Okay, you want an improvement within this relationship. Okay. And you demand one, very much so. And then you got the two of cups. Once you, once you um, get an improvement within this relationship, uh, then the love can start again. Then the friendship can be renewed. Okay, the passion can start off. But there's a lot of things going on with you, Gemini, and somebody that you're close to. It could be um, a partner, a lover, a wife, husband. You're engaged. You're married partnership but there once you guys get a control of this and make this person understand what they've done to you and what they need to do within the relationship then you can become then you then you'll accept his cup but until then you got a lot of healing to do and they need to get it together Then you have stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Some of you are stepping back into your power. You fell out of you fell out of it for a while. You guys have been confused. You've been going through bullshit. There's been a lot of problems lately. You haven't been yourself. But now in the month of February, you're stepping back into your power. You're not going to let this person have that much power over you anymore. Okay? Pay attention to the red flags in this relationship. There's some things that you're seeing, you're hearing, you're noticing that's not cool. So pay attention to those red flags. I will say that you've had a past life with this person. Sometimes it's hard to let go. It could be a number of things. It could be the sex. It could be the love that you have for them, the passion, the romance that you have. You could have children. You know, you've had a past life together. It's hard to let go of somebody like that. I get it. 
positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Oh, Gemini, right now, the only thing that you could do is have positive energy around you. Anybody that's toxic, anything that is toxic, you need to let it go. Surround yourself with positive people and their situations. And avoid all that negativity from people. Set your sights higher. Increase your standards. Gemini, you have to increase your standards. You have to set things high. Okay? And expect more for yourself. Don't settle. In other words, Gemini, don't settle for the bullshit from your partner or whoever you're involved with. Whoever you're dating, sleeping with, whoever it may be. You have to keep moving and do not settle for their BS anymore. Put your foot down, Gemini, and mean what you say and say what you mean. Narrow pathway. Trend thoughtfully. So right now, you're treading thoughtfully. You're, thread, you're, on, you're threading on a narrow path right now because things are not so good with you and whoever that you're with or whoever that you're dealing with. Uh, there's a tower moment there, or there has been a tower moment. So tread lightly here. And after that, since it's been a tower moment, since, you know, your, your path is narrow after this tower moment, you guys are having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Hey, look, are we going to stay together? Or are we checking out here? Are we, leave, are we leaving? What, what are we going to do here? Because I know I can't keep going through this. And some of you are going to let this person go because there's just not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It's unrequited love. You're just looking at him like, what is the point? I don't love you like I used to. I don't feel this way about you like I used to. Something that you did or said changed the way that I feel about you. And then you got the sun. You're not happy at this time. You seem lonely. You could be in a relationship and still be lonely. Some of you are lonely. Some of you are not happy. Some of you broke off the marriage or the engagement. You canceled all your plans together. Okay? Miracles. Expect wonders to emerge. Once you get rid of this toxic bullshit in your life, your miracles are going to start coming through. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Once you get rid of all this toxic crap around you, whether it's people or a person, watch how your doors open to miracles. It will be safe for you to love again. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Once you get this toxic person out of your life, God is going to send you someone new. But not until... King of coins, there's corruption within the relationship, partnership, friendship, whatever it is. And they're going to use any means to achieve the desired end in this relationship. They're not faithful either. And this got to do with the man. He's not faithful. He's not. Getting to know each other. There's a three-way, this, this is my three-way love affair card. So either you're dealing with two people or he's dealing with two people. And you, one of you found out or both of you found out. Ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive and embrace your heart's desire. Hey, right now, right now, ready, set, go. Let's go. Right now, grasp for what you want and get it moving. If you want to leave this person, then leave them. If you want them out of your home, then get rid of them. Now is the time. Don't keep stalling. Do not keep stalling. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Once you let this person go, joy and delight is going to come back into your heart. Your heart is going to open up. It's going to open up. And you're going to see the wonders of this world. The wonders are the joy and the happiness that's in front of you. Very soon, Gemini, you are going to decide what you want. And that, and that is a Yes. You are going to decide exactly what you want. Whether you love this person or you don't. 
After you get rid of this person, God will send you your soulmate. God will send you the person that you're supposed to be with. But God, can, you don't want nobody now that you're in this mess with whoever you're dealing with, all this bull crap. You don't want the new person to come in right now at this particular time. Music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. So while you're manifesting, writing down on your parchment paper, saying, Dear Universe, write all your wishes and desires, burn it at a full moon, or take a pot and burn it on your stove, turn the fan on and burn it. So when the air, when the fan is circulating, it's going outwards. Okay, you could burn, stand outside and burn it in your backyard, uh, burn it anywhere long as you don't start a fire. Um, and as you're burning it, no, and, hey, excuse me. I have a dog and a cat, and my dog does not like my cat to be around. So go over there. Go over here, Dr. Tiger. I'm sorry, everybody. I was really into this reading. Um, yeah, my dog will snap at him. Music, so, music for manifesting so manifest rapidly. Think of your desires while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. You're going to hear stuff about us psychics when we're, when we're at home. You're going to hear babies crying. I have no babies. You're going to hear animals. You're going to hear all kinds of stuff that we don't want you to hear, but we can't help it. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So once you get rid of that toxic person that you're with... Your soulmate will come in, the person that you're supposed to be with, and then the passion will come along with that. Okay. Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. Believe in magic. Believe your life is going to be magical. Believe you're going to get everything you want, Gemini. And you are. But get rid of the toxic bullshit. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Because watch your thoughts because that's going to manifest. Okay? So it's important to only think about what you desire. Think about the things that you desire, not what you fear. Because what you fear, you don't want that to set in. Okay? Then we have... Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Your heart is going to open up. The love is going to flow through you. You're going to find out exactly who you are when this toxic person leaves. you got to love yourself. You haven't loved yourself, Gemini, in a while. Because you keep dealing with toxic people. Engagement. There's a possibility you could be engaged too. After you get rid of this. Because you're going to meet somebody. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Just simplify your life. Make your life simple. Get rid of all the stuff that you don't need in your home. Your home. Like if you're too big, get Get rid of your small clothes. If you're small, get rid of your big clothes. Things that, that you don't need. And that's hard for me as a tourist to get rid of. Um, but you're going to have to go through each room. Or maybe pack it up. Put it in storage. Don't have it out. The more that your home is not cluttered, the more your life will not be cluttered. But if your home is cluttered, believe it or not, your life will be cluttered. Gemini, they want you to stay very optimistic about your love life. It's going to be okay. Think positive about your love life. Try to keep roses, flowers in your house. Solitude. I could tell you right now, Gemini, some of you have been staying to yourself like crazy in silence. Peace prevails. You haven't been on YouTube as a psychic. Some of you, if you're um, Gemini or have Gemini in your chart, um, you have not been really calling anybody. You've been staying to yourself to keep peace and confusion out of your life at this time. And your last card, Gemini, forgive and learning. 
As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So as long as you hold on to all that toxic, all that uh, fighting and arguing, all that bull crap, that excess baggage is going to be hard for you to forgive. And you need to learn from the forgiving part. Okay? So let it all go. Relax. Do what you feel, Gemini, that you need to do for you. And clear the toxic BS out of your life. Okay? So this is Born with a Veil. God bless you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And call me 313-401-3707 if you need a reading. I'm on Cash App. Go to Cash App, dollar sign, Born with a Veil. God bless. And thank you, Crosswatchers. And thank you, subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe.